Hi Aquarius, this is your reading with me for the 15th to the 21st of November. I hope you are well. All right, so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through for your week. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I also wanted to mention as well that if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every month. If you would like to win, um, oh no, if you'd like to purchase then as well, private paid reading information is also down below as well. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me. And the last thing I wanted to mention is intention manifesting items which thousands of people have seen results with are linked down below on my website which is shopmoonlightguidance.com bracelets necklaces anklets pom-poms tassels for different areas of your life different intentions there's also candles crystals sage everything is handmade meditated with and saged there's also um intention pouches and just so many items like there's, there's so many but you can check them out so so have the candles which have been restocked because they well they keep selling out but um, yeah it's they oh, they smell divine but they are natural they are plant-based they are safety tested and um yeah very very special indeed they're handmade and hand poured as well all right so let's have a look and see aquarius I, I've, I've just like had this thought that crossed my mind as well just just now is that a lot of the times when I've done Aquarius readings the star card really has a tendency to show up and I've just noticed this as well like uh, it, it seems to be the the reading where the your major arcana seems to come out the most which uh, you know is is interesting and, and very exciting I'd have to say it just goes to show that you're connecting very heavily to yourself and to be honest you know with the whole age of Aquarius um, that we have had astrologically I think it it would make sense to be honest. So it's a, you know it's a very powerful, very dominant sign that has been um, very relevant. Not that you're you're ever irrelevant or anything, but you know it's it's been the most dominant sign I would say you know in recent times. Okay. Anyways, so Aquarius. Hmm. There seems to be like a conversation that you honestly just don't see like coming your way because judgment is like quite unexpected. You you kind of think to yourself like, oh, do I want to have this conversation or do I not? And some of you it could be like you have it like face to face. For some of you, it's going to be through a phone call. So you're going to be thinking like, should I answer this or should I not? And then some of you may also be invited out where you're thinking, do I want to go? Do I not? Right, so judgment is like very unexpected where you kind of have to make that decision. Knight of Pentacles is someone coming towards you to basically initiate this. And then the King of Wands is, yeah, and, and the Seven of Pentacles is this sort of thought of like, do I want to do this? Do I not? And I feel like a lot of you will most likely want the conversation to happen. So that's the King of Wands of you being quite decisive and be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll be a lot more decisive than I just was there, but you know, there's that whole vibe. Okay, so let's go. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Yeah, I really had a feeling I wanted to turn over the entire um, set of cards. And here we go, King and Queen of Wands. So yeah, there's definitely someone here that wants to really like talk about things. Now this can be romantic because you've got the King and the Queen of Wands. So there's this sense of like attraction, chemistry, connection that I really do pick up on, which I think is quite significant. Literally, I just... Did anyone else hear that? It was like a ship's horn, which is not unexpected around here because, you know, there is, um, there are many ships. But the thing is, right, um, I wasn't expecting it at this time. So, you know, um, so that, I guess that kind of makes sense. Like in many ways, some of you may have expected in your mind that, you know, at some point this person will come to me, they'll talk to me, we'll resolve things, we'll, you know, especially with justice, we'll resolve things, we'll talk about things and create that balance. You just may not expect it to happen in this particular week. You're right. So it, it makes sense. Like you kind of have the expectation, but not, definitely not in this week. So as that would make sense. Three of pentacles here. work related wise this is quite interesting i feel like you're getting a lot more responsibilities in regards to work you, whoever you work with or if you for example even if you work for yourself okay um or if you're studying you have a lot you have a lot to do you may have a lot of assignments projects you may have a lot of meetings you may have a lot of ideas you just have a lot to the point where you've got a lot to definitely occupy yourself with for sure um financially so well financially like in terms of your career so especially with the king of pentacles you've got a lot going on in this week right and on top of that this person wants to have a conversation with you i think because you're quite distracted by a lot of other things going on you don't really expect that they'll come forward in this week now i know that this reading sort of 
kind of ruins that expectation because technically now you have an expectation, right? But for the most part, keep concentrating on your career and other things that are going on. Um, and essentially, I feel like really when you least expect it in the week, they're going to reach out to you. For a lot of people, it's going to be the third day, which would be 15, 16, 17th. No, wait, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, 17th. Why do I always feel like 15 plus 3 is like would be the 18th? But then with the dates, it just works out in a completely different way. You know, it's one of those things. 17th or 18th, okay, I just say. But technically, it would be like, you know, 17th, but uh, 17th November. But actually, technically, you know, every time I think of like 15 plus 3, I know that it's 18. So I keep thinking of 18 now as well. So, fifth, so basically, yeah, 17th or 18th. Plus, we've got the number 8 here with the um, the strength card. Um, so, interesting, we've got temperance as well, Sagittarius season is right around the corner, it's gearing up, okay, I, I just feel here there's a lot of warmth here, there's a sense of you like sorting out different things that you've got going on, you may even be sorting things out around the home, sorting things out legally, you might be sorting things out with people that you have a connection with, some of you really want this situation to also be sorted out, you know, romantically, you want things to be equal and mutual and just to come together and not be so difficult and challenging and problematic, you just want things to come together in your life and I don't freaking blame you, I really don't, right? Totally fine. So let them come towards you. Let them initiate what they got to initiate. And then you go accordingly. See, they want to initiate things here. I definitely feel like whoever this person is, they have a lot of nostalgia towards you. And with the strength card, you're just becoming stronger. You are becoming invincible. And I just think that that's such a wonderful thing. Like, honestly, Aquarius, to see you feel so strong and to see you kind of just feel so like connected to yourself i think it's just amazing and i think that ultimately it just goes to show that there are some really beautiful energies coming your way this week where you know people are going to come towards you um you're going to have you know a lot of yes a lot to do and lots of responsibilities and opportunities i find that this is a very busy week actually for a lot of the star signs um as well so then there is that you know there's, there's a lot of like busy busy hectic hectic kind of energies for many many people so it's just something to keep in mind but it is you know it is what it is i don't know how many i need i think let's go with four yeah, okay. Eight of Pentacles, see? Very, very busy. Got a lot of work here lined up for yourself. I know that sounds really boring, like Moonlight. I don't really care about that. Well, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, because a lot of people, like, believe it or not, they... They just think, yeah, tell me something new. Okay, so I will, right? The wild card here is that you might be fantasizing about different de destinations and places that you want to visit. Oh! Yeah, see, I told you in the beginning, the star card keep the star card keeps coming up for you, so many times, like so many times. I don't know in the how many the last like three months, the star card just keeps coming out for your sign, which actually isn't a terrible thing. It just goes to show you're very well connected to you, or at least you know start, things are starting to align much more for you. You may not always feel great; it's part of life, you know. But it, it is aligning. Magician here, yeah, someone really wants to talk. Okay, like someone really wants... Basically, the highlight of your um, your reading here is the fact that someone's really like desperately wanting to talk to you and really wants to open up to you and say something. So I think that this is really important to know. And behind the scenes, like things really are working towards you, working in your favor, working to progress towards you. So I really feel here that even though this is like something quite unexpected, I think that ultimately at least you get a lot of clarity through the conversation and that you are working hard, you've got opportunities, you have got stability for yourself and that you are being protected by the universe and the guides and your angels and your ancestors, right? So yeah, it's a pretty solid month in this, sorry, well, it is a solid month for you, but I would say it's a very solid week also because of everything going on in this sense. You just won't really expect a lot of this to be going on and it's quite unexpected. It changes a lot though because it changes your kind of perspective and then of course then you don't have that expectation anymore because it's it's already, the you know, conversation is happening so then now you're thinking, oh, like what's, you know, like what's next? So yeah, Aquarius, this is your reading. I really hope this helped you and gave you lots of clarity. 
Of course, if this resonates or if you want to claim the reading, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Really helps out the video, it really does. So that would be so much appreciated. And of course, information is in the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention items, which are on my website. Definitely do check those out as well for sure. And I also have TikTok and Instagram. So if you want to follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post readings on there every single day and take care everyone. Yeah, so that's what we have. Bye.